Good morning, everyone. I'm Clarissa Boetis from B Smart Services. Thank you once again for joining us today. Today, we are joined by Janine Lingenfelder from Jelani and Joe Yeppe. And um, we've got a very, very exciting broadcast for you today. Um, we want to find out today about um, her journey herself and about the exciting news that she's got to share with us. So, Joe and Janine, a very warm welcome to the both of you. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for being It's great being here. Thanks. Thanks so much. Great. So, um, Joe, I want to find out for, from your side. You are currently the title holder of Mrs. Swanee 2023, and you are forming meaningful relationships with women around you. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and about that? Okay, just to um, just to rectify you guys there, um, I'm not a title holder yet. Um, one of my best friends is the title holder of Victoria. She's the second princess of 2023. I started my journey as Mrs. Johannesburg finalist um, two months ago. So I'm in the Joe um, book pageant. Um, we're trying to do, you know, leadership through phenomenal women pageants and stuff like that. But... To start, where do I start? How do I tell you about myself? Well, I'm married <laughs> um, with a very special man in my life. A uh, very um, crazy story how we met. Uh, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> so I am 40 years young, never old, never dull moments. Um, I have um, three boys. I was blessed with three boys. Um, my first boy, baby boy, passed away in two years um but he's still with us every day and then my second one stays down Swarkop Munt um we will miss him in Joburg but he's enjoying his life there then I've got an 18 year old that drives me up the wall but every gray year the gray hair I basically count because it's a blessing <laughs> um so yeah um I'm always a happy smiling person I have big ambitions in life until days um until my days get dark. Um, that's why I'm talking to you guys about my journey because as happy and as outgoing and always on the ball I seem, there's some days that the noise and the darkness are overpowering and that's when women keep quiet, they don't speak. And my thing is to inspire women to be open, talk about it, see life as you find it. If it's dark, if it's light, you can make the best of that situation. So I would, um, yeah, talking about my journey, um, I want to be a voice that uh, to be heard to someone that goes through what I've been through and still going through. Um, I had a very lot, a lot of loss in my life. I had to deal with very close relationship loss, like my son, my, uh, my previous husband, you know, and going through, I was diagnosed with severe, uh, severe depression and anxiety. And a lot of women say it's but nobody takes it serious that that actually can kill you. That can change your life from being on the highest level, falling down to the lowest and you won't be able to get up. So I am here today, thank God, um, that my husband was on time. A few months ago, I tried to commit suicide due to me being in a situation or being in that dark space that I couldn't get out of. So the doctor said if he wasn't there soon enough, I wouldn't have been here today. So that's my story and that's what I want to bring out and to let the world know and let them feel that there is people that care. There is people that loves them. There is people to listen. And there is people that sees the danger signs. They just need to be open and be empowered and be the phenomenal women they are to speak about it and talk to, even if it's a, an anonymous, just speak to somebody because somebody can give you one word of inspiration, one word of good hope or faith or a message from above or something like that that pulls you out of that groove a split second and you're back on the highest point that you can be. Wow. That is what my, I'm here for. <laughs> wow, that is, that is brilliant. That is brilliant, Joe. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. The, the little bit about yourself that you told us 
I'm sure that there's a lot of every woman listening to this right now, even me myself. It's really a lot of inspiration that I can take from it. And the fact that you're going forward, the fact that you're doing this, the fact that you, you're, you're willing to go out and do something, build relationships and inspire others is something that I definitely admire. So well done on that. And I pray so that you'll be blessed on your, on your journey ahead. So, Thank you so much. Uh, I'm already blessed. I'm, I'm still here. <laughs> still wonderful. <keeping> yes, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Yes, so, so it's, it's so great to hear that with everything that you're doing, that you're actually working on this very exciting project. And one that's not just going to make a difference in your life, but in the lives of so many others, like we just said. So can you tell us a little bit more about this current project that you're working on, the Mrs. Johannesburg pageant? Okay, so a month ago, um, I was supporting a lady that's very close to me. Um, she was, she's, you know, it's not just close to me, she's really close to my heart. Um, I took a, a look at her life that she went and, you know, she joined the pageant like I said the Mrs. Pretoria pageant and she took it very far and that was so inspirational because if you look at her a lot of people say she'll never make it she's not a beauty queen she doesn't have this and I thought to myself you know what you do not have to be the perfect beauty middle center page book women or the one with the best life or the most money or this lavish lifestyle you just need to be a woman you need to be a woman that went through hardships, stood up for what you believe, and still go on strong. Still say, I am the best. I am worth it. I am doing this. And she inspired me. And I nominated myself for this thing. And um, I spoken to the pageant director. She gave me uh, 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 the laybacks and stuff like that. And then the very first thing she told me is I'm actually going to read it to you guys because it's make it's so close to my heart because she told me there's one thing I need to know. It's that this pageant is not about women that is perfect. Women that has perfect lives. This pageant is basically created a platform for dynamic women to stop and step forward and make a difference. This is for people that has been broken, that has been down in the dumps, that has stood up and said, I'm a woman, I'm a mother, I'm a creator. Because without us, life, we need to born. People get born. We are phenomenal. We are created with much love and everything. And I can't tell you how much this joy in this journey I'm finding because I walked into a doctor that I haven't seen for years and he says why are you glowing and I'm like I'm not pregnant <laughs> this is good everybody's like oh, you're glowing and you're, oh you're pregnant no <laughs> I'm glowing because I'm taking this journey for women not for me for a voice for the voiceless I'm taking this so I can how can I say a journey to show women that are phenomenal. Women are always to stand strong and heads up. But it's okay to be vulnerable, be tired, be broken. And the only do as much as you can. We always have our families, friends, colleagues at heart. And for us being so strong, everybody thinks we're always okay. But it's actually we're not. And that's what I want to bring out to let people know there is a platform to stand up and do something. And that's why I'm taking this journey, taking this pageant and embarking on this profound life altering journey. I will see where we end up. But I hope that even, you know, like I said to my sister and my family, I'm not here for the crown. I'm not here for a title, for fortune or fame. I'm here so somebody can hear me. I'm here to make somebody's life easier. If I can reach one person, I won. That's all that matters. Wonderful. So, that is <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> it's really, really beautiful. And I just love that 
listening to you speaking about this, the emotion that comes with it. It makes it makes you want to be part of this in yeah. any way, whether it's sponsorship, donations, whatever it is, just be part of it because it makes you feel good. I actually have goosebumps and I'm in <laughs> Dubai. So <laughs> that alone is something. So, you know, we may not control all the events that actually take place, but you can decide not to not to be reduced by them. And that's exactly what you're doing right now, Joe. With everything that you've been through that you've mentioned earlier, you you are such a mentor in so many different manners. And it's it's beautiful to see. And we are so privileged, myself and Clarissa, and everybody else is listening to this, to actually be sharing this journey with you. So my question to you is, what is your vision for this pageant and why? <laughs> <laughs> okay so okay I'm gonna give it to you straight I've been given an opportunity in life right now to take this journey that not a lot of people other people even think about or got in their life um I don't just want to talk about what it it, it it gives in the big all and take anything for granted I want to use this opportunity to give back to the world let me be able to give a voice to the voiceless, to help others out there that can't help themselves, to be a pillar in the community, to help others that has and been going through what I have. You read a lot that people lose their little one and there's nobody to talk to. You know, I'm, I'm, I've friends close to me lost his wife, his, his father, the mother, and there's nobody to talk to. So, to show them that there is life, a beautiful, happy life out there. Just have to take it, grasp it, and hold it. As tough as it may be, it's better on the other side. So I want to believe in, in what I'm doing to conquer and to come over my fears. I'm always, maybe I'm not, or maybe the gray hair, or maybe my teeth are skew, or maybe I've got, but you know, my imperfections makes me perfect. It makes me the woman I am today. So my vision is just to reach out and touch others uh, that have been where I was a few months ago and try to help, give a voice, be a positive role model, be inspirational to others. So quite simply, I want to leave the world better than I found it. Be remembered by the people whose life I touched. A force of good in their lives. I lost many people very close to me during this of my whole life. And I know for first hand, no one out there on their be deathbed wishes they worked more, made more money, or won more awards. They just want to be the other ones they love most to tell them they matter. I think of those people often, and those are the roles they play and the roles they play in my life. Um, I wanted to be remembered for passing along a very best in me to others. So their lives are better and happier in the some in some way because I was part of it. And to took and and to be part of everything um, that has been given to me and have as much of a positive influence on the world as possible. I will learn to empower and be empowered during my journey as Miss James Book Prime Minister. So I can be my voice, their voice, their heart, whatever they need. <laughs> yeah, that is so profound, Joe. And we love you for that. <laughs> I can tell you that now. We love you for that. And, you know, it, it's so true that the success of every woman should be the inspiration to another. And that's exactly what you are. You are an inspiration to others. Thank and we you. should raise each other up, right? And that's what you're doing. Yes. That's yeah, exactly what you're doing. You need that. Even if the unknown person, the unknown woman, the unknown child, the unknown man phones you and they are at a brink of saying, I can't. You can. You can. Because you will have the power that you need to get through everything. Wow. It's being kind. 
and it's being humble and what you're doing yeah. today with telling everybody your story, it's it's beyond the humble word. It's more. The emotions that you're bringing towards this is what people want. And it's it's really beautiful. And uh, I know myself and Clarissa, we're very grateful for you opening up like this because once again, courage comes in here because it, it, it can't be easy telling people that you it's wanted to be <laughs> you, you lost a child. You this and that people don't want to talk about their hurts and yet here you are and doing exactly that because you want to be that voice so yeah just absolute wow absolute wow yeah a lot of people think when a woman tells them about their hurts it makes them less so you Mm. will always judge what if i tell somebody i tried to commit suicide are they going to think less of me Are they going to think, oh, well, you're a coward? You haven't been in my shoes to say that. The Mm. people that is standing in my shoes, they will know. It takes a lot of noise, a lot of darkness to get to that point. Doesn't matter how happy you are. Robin Williams suffered the same depression. And he was the most biggest icon in in comedy. But still, people don't talk because you're scared you get degraded. Absolutely agree. I always say that if people throw bricks, oh, oh I'm building a foundation with those bricks. I'm <laughs> building a foundation. <laughs> and that's exactly what you've done now, is you build a foundation with the bricks people threw at you. So, yeah, absolutely kudos, 1,000%. Oh, thank you so much. Now, obviously, with everything going on within the pageant, how can we as a community or a local business how can we help you to actually reach the certain goals that you need to for this course? Okay, I know a lot of people say, but we can't. It's difficult. I know it's difficult. Um, we are, but when we stand together, we can build our community. Doesn't matter how difficult it is, we can build. So, as a Miss Johannesburg finalist, I'm tasked with raging pa- uh, pageant sponsorships, donations. Um, my poverty fund sucking rising suckers <laughs> um, so um, I appeal to you to support the initiative aimed at empowering women and making a difference in the community the title provides phenomenal women with a platform from which they can be heard um, sponsorships may be in form of cash goods vouchers um, services and um, and I should wish to You know, if you should wish to sponsor the pageant or walk this journey with me, um, you would be able to boosting my participation in this and it's making me reach my goal, even if I touch one person's life. Making me stand tall, help others and be the phenomenal woman I am. So you are doing Poverty Sucker Sucks Foundation campaign. We have um, a high tease coming up. We've got a 007 ball that's coming up. So we're trying to bring people to see that it's not just a beauty pageant. There's a lot of things you can participate in. You can do, um, we've got a role model foundation. We've got projects that we're busy there in the role models foundation. Um, We're doing a food drive. So cans and foods and everything that you can contribute. You can give me a shout and I'll be there. And I promise you, whatever you give, what you cash, goods, services, you will be promoted. You, I will have your name with me all during my journey. Mm. So checkers, bullies, if you hear this, yeah. <laughs> bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> this is like a small bucket of giving back to the community. So, wow, there's so much going on behind the scenes, Joe, that we are not aware of. You know, you're running all these high teas and 007 events. I mean, that just sounds fantastic. And that's all to really raise awareness and funds to accommodate the cause. And that's that's just beautiful. I mean, the lollipop. I mean, who doesn't like a lollipop? I love that. I think they're 10 rand a lollipop. (laughs) <laughs> yeah and and with the lollipops is it's going every sense of that that it's a non-profit of organization so this is a charity for the role models foundation established in 2009 so 
what happens with the money is the estimated net profit of the selling of the lollipop is zero. So it will be used to sustain this charity. It, 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 if you or any member of the public wants to be exactly what happens to the money, you can join the Ron Bond Foundation and you will see where it goes to. This is for family, local businesses, schools, every lollipop that proceeds there of, of, uh, sustains this charity and, and it outreaches to other projects. So mm -hmm. a lollipop is just not a pop for the day. It is actually helping somebody. So I remember when you suck that pop, happy thoughts, it's nice, but you actually help somebody. Love that. Clarissa, any <laughs> last thoughts from your side? Wow, yes, this has been such an exciting interview. And it, it really, what Janine said earlier, it really gives me goosebumps to think about everything that, the, that you're putting in, about everyone that's being helped and the fact that you're actually giving a voice to people is going through the same thing as you it's it's really brilliant and i love the cause it's it's wonderful joe thank you so much once again for sharing that with us so Thanks. everyone janine joe thank you for for this exciting interview this so I'm, I'm i'm really looking forward to how this is going to turn out about each and every exciting part of this journey and i'm pretty sure all our viewers are just as excited at in this point of time as i am so everyone, there you have it. We've heard a lot of, uh, of interesting information from Joe this afternoon. And um, our last question would be, Joe, um, these activities that you're doing and that you've mentioned just now, if everyone or if anyone in and around the area or wherever wants to um, contribute or want to get in touch with you, how can they reach you? Okay, so it's very easy. If you go on to... Um... Mazanzi pageants or you go on to mrs johannesburg um you can reach me through facebook instagram um you can contact me through messenger on facebook um so you can get me on a hold on whatsapp if you need to speak to me or need to get information um the whatsapp number is 071-855-0008 very easy number never to forget <laughs> then you can email me um, I will have an email link sent so people can reach me on email. Facebook is under Joe Yefer. Um, my Instagram profile is Yefer Joe. And then I've got a profile link that I would send to you guys that you can send to people that will see the whole pageant details. And then if you want to follow my journey, just watch up on Facebook. Oh, wow. Awesome. Awesome. He is all over the show, people. Um, <laughs> absolutely fantastic. We will obviously share this, uh, the links and information um, for you to go and follow. And uh, yeah, I think I just want to wrap up from my side is, you know, to really think like a queen. A queen is not afraid to fail. Failure is just another stepping stone to greatness. And this is what I'm leaving to you today, Joe. is continue this greatness and this beautiful journey that you are on. It is absolutely amazing to be part of it. We Love you and cannot wait to do a follow-up interview with you. I know. I would be glad to do it. And then I will be more relaxed. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, also, I want to leave with everybody is to know that any sponsors, any donations, anything we get, you can get advertising and marketing through this whole process. So one hand washes the other. You can just help. We help. And I carry your name with me all the way. Uh, the pageant, I think, is run 2023 to 2024. So it's a year that we will be marketing or carrying you with me all the way. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Oh, thank you so much, Joe. Thank you so much, Janine. This was a really exciting um, interview. And as Janine said, we really look forward to the next one. And we look forward to seeing... Um, how this exciting, exciting journey turns out. Thank you so much, Joe. We're going to do all of the information with our viewers. And once again, thank you for what you're doing because it just takes one bit of kindness to make a very big difference. And I'm sure that all of the love, all of the kindness and all of the strength that you're putting into this is going to make a big difference to each and every single person who's involved and each and every single person who's looking at it. So, Joe, thank you so much once again. Janine, thank you All so right. much for the invite. And to our viewers, thank you so much for watching. We're going to keep you updated. Um, have a look at those um, social media pages. Follow Joe. 
see what she's doing and if you want to get involved, please don't hesitate to do that. I'm Clarissa Boerter from Be Smart Services and we'll see you guys soon. Thank you once again and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. Bye, you guys.